and dear friends, as we are waiting for more people to arrive and for our dear sister to arrive, I would like to invite all of us to practice mindful breathing and uh, I will be guiding us. So allow yourself to just uh, feel the weight of your body on the seat. You can close your eyes if that's helpful to develop a concentration. And in this moment, just to relax the tension on our face, we can offer ourselves a smile, releasing the tensions in our shoulders, our hands, our palms. We may have been very busy today in this moment, allowing our body to just arrive, feeling our two feet on the ground. As you breathe in, become aware that this is your in-breath. As you breathe out, become aware this is your out-breath. Recognize this is in-breath and this is out-breath. As you breathe in, know that there is life present. You are alive. As you breathe out, aware of life all around you. In breath, you are alive. Out breath, life all around you. As you breathe in, allow yourself to arrive in this moment, this present moment. Breathing out, this is a precious moment. Breathing in, present moment. Breathing out, precious moment. Good evening, friends gathered here and online, we welcome you. Welcome to Compassion in Action with the Venerable Sister Chan Kong. My name is Su Yun Park, the Vice President of Academic Affairs and Dean here at Union Theological Seminary. And I bring warm greetings from President Serene Jones, who is actually teaching tonight and won't be able to join us. She's very disappointed to not to welcome you here in person. 
We here at Union are delighted to host this evening with our partner, Blue Cliff Monastery, and to be in the company of Sister Chan Kong, who needs no introduction, but let me try. The first fully ordained monastic disciple of Zen Master Thich Nhat Hanh, and directed Thais humanitarian projects for over 60 years, and currently the elder nun of the International Plum Village Sangha. We are grateful and honored that you have joined us, Sister Chan Kong, to share your stories, wisdom, your social work of the heart, and sweet vocal expression of musical dharma as a way of cultivating and bringing peace and harmony to our body and our mind. She is joined with, with us here with the young monastics, Sister True Dedication and Brother Fapu, and the Plum Village Band. I have to say a little moment of, um, I don't know, personal privilege to say I had a fangirl moment when I saw Brother Fapu because if you're not listening to the podcast, you should be listening to the podcast. I'm a real fan of your, your podcast, The Way Out is In. You can find it in anywhere you can find podcasts. Sister Chan Kong, your commitment to humanitarian work, mindfulness, deep peace, and compassion continue to inform and inspire my and our daily living. It is truly a pleasure to have you here with us again. Just a few words about Union's Buddhist Studies program and our connection to um, Thai. As you may know, um, Thai studied here at Union and Columbia University and earned his Master of Arts in Religion back in 1963. He walked to these very halls, uh, our spaces they're in, so it is a very special connection that we feel here. And in 2016, Kosin Greg Snyder joined our faculty and began to create a um, Buddhism and interreligious engagement program affectionately called the BIE program at Union. And in fall of that year, we enrolled our first cohort of BIE students. And by studying Buddhism within the interreligious engagement field at Union, students are invited to enter into some of the most exciting and challenging conversations of our time. We, they, explore questions like, how do we understand social justice through a dharmic lens? How do we engage one another's faith traditions without causing harm? How do we orient spiritually in the time of climate crisis? How does one respond skillfully to a world in need of deep healing transformation? At Union, BIE students, and many of you are here tonight, we're able to discern together these questions and countless others together with a cohort of Buddhist students while also engaging diverse student perspectives across faith traditions and worldviews. In a month, we will have graduated 25 students with a BIE concentration since its inception, and we currently have over 30 students enrolled in a BIE program. That's a major accomplishment. And partner in crime, here's Peace, um, who has been working tirelessly to, uh, for the success of the program. Stand up, stand up, stand up. The Buddhist student's presence has shifted how we learn and teach here at Union. They continue to continuously challenge us 
and our long-held Protestant assumptions about community and formation. They accompany and have been accompanied by practitioners of different contemplative traditions, finding deep alignment as well as difference. Together, we learn what it means to practice and live into interreligious engagement. And along with this exciting academic BIE program and in conversation with the leadership of the Order of Interbeing, the Thich Nhat Hanh program for engaged Buddhism was launched in 2017 as an outward facing program to promote academic and public education aimed at cultivating diverse Buddhist responses to pressing social issues. I'm humbled to note that Union has become a home for Buddhist activism, both locally and nationally. This program has nurtured growth of the Buddhist Action Coalition, hosted the very first national meeting of black Buddhist teachers in the United States, the Dharma and Justice Dialogue series brings together a wide range of Buddhist leaders across the country to discuss pressing social issues of our time and place. These seminars have offered topics such as wise spiritual leadership in our times, what is right justice, a just relationship with the earth, Buddhism ancestral memory and healing, integrating grief and social justice work, and investigating caste and racial oppression. We have also recently this year welcomed Professor Rima Vesely Flad as a visiting professor of Buddhism and Black Studies. In a world desperately in need of embodied compassion and care, I am grateful that we remain committed to interreligious engagement and compassion in action. And it is good to be here tonight, is it not? And with Sister Chan Kong. And we are deeply honored that you have chosen to share your time and gifts with us again. Welcome. Welcome this evening. Dear friends, before our dear sister share, in the Plum Village tradition, from time to time, we will hear the sound of the bell. And the sound of the bell is to invite all of us to come back to our practice of mindfulness. Mindfulness is always mindfulness of something. And our breath is always with us because our breath is life. We can be very busy, our thoughts can be carried away. At any moment within the day when you want to be mindful, all you have to do is be aware of your breath that is already happening. But it takes training for us to create that good habit in us. So from time to time within our sharing tonight, within Sister Chang Kong sharing, there will be some sounds of the bell. And whenever we hear the sound of the bell, it is an invitation for all of us to just connect to the breath, the in-breath, the out-breath. So I invite all of us to listen to a sound of the bell, breathe together, and our sister will offer her sharing.
Sakyamuni Buddha đã Nam Mô Thầy Thích Nhất Hạnh Our teacher is still alive and is among us tonight I regret that we have only this evening to share but the, the, the continuation of Tishnatan is still alive in everywhere. Each brother, each sister, the youngest sister, after demonstration, beating by policemen, she still pray and send her love to all the policemen, all those who mistreat her. And each one have her, their own story and so profound. I don't know how to share to you, but so today I simplify by sharing some little short song. But in that, there is uh, the connection with many 27,000 children in the very poorest and remote area. It's their new year cloth. It's only once a year. We offer them one clothing like that. The rest, normally at the beginning when we start, they only eat frog and uh, catch frog and snake and to eat. And they are tribal people in the mountainous area. They don't want to go to school. We have beautiful school when you visit Vietnam. Beautiful school for city children, but in the countryside, in the remote, mountainous area, they refuse to go to school, and they ready to go and catch snake, and kill them and fry them and barbecue them, and stay in a white way, like we have two society in Vietnam, and our work is try to be with them, and then from very new, not very beautiful dress. They agreed, finally they come. And, and I offer, as an example, only, let's say, $10 per month for a child. And no one agreed, no family agreed. But then, and the child have um, the food, at noon, at noon, not at 11 a.m. And then after that, they have a nap. Of course, early morning at 8 until 11, they sing, they write, they learn to write, to play, to paint with uh, a number of drawing. And then after that, they are bang, 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 bang. They come, they breathe in, breathe out, and they have some lunch. And then after that, they sleep. And then, uh, and then sometimes they fight, each other fight also. And the third one would say, breathing in, breathing out, I am blooming as a flower. And then they stop to fight. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the way we, we, we teach them. We don't shout at them, we don't uh, reprimand them. We just said that and when they are fighting each other, breathing in, breathing out, I am blooming as a flower, I am fresh. And then everybody sing, and then they stop to fight. And, and we have many schools. And in this, you see only 22. But we have almost together 27,000 children like that throughout the country. And, and we only offer very little thing. At the beginning, I, I cannot afford to give own. And I said, that, let's try 20. And they came. And they are feet at midnight, midday. And they are taught singing. And then they are feet after feeding. And then they sleep, and they wake up for uh, mm, uh, play again, and write again, and paint again. And then they receive other 
soup for before going home at 3 p.m. And then 4 p.m., their parents come and pick them up or they come back home, white people, boy children in the mountain. And they are very happy. And But when they, they have very dirty dress, we don't shout at them. We say that. And we distribute one. And we say that, give me. And they wash. The, the school teacher have to wash, wash dirty because their clothes are on a brown of earth, of earth. They do not have that white uh, part. And, and then we clean and we dry and we wear clean dress for them, not too bad. <laughs> so they go home with clean dress. Tomorrow, if your dress is so dirty like that, you have to clean. Ask your parents to do it. And they have done and they are happy and they cleaner and joyfully. And then the next, um, up, it means a group of tribal people are next door. They refuse, but they saw the, the B, the A, the A uh, group are so clean, so beautiful. They said, I want to go to school too. And I said, you pay the other teachers. This group have received ten dollars per month. Can you afford? No. So in that case, and I said that, please take care. I cannot afford to give more. And then they divide from the meal with a number of good things, and then they remove. But they they still have nutritious things like um, pumpkin, like um, zucchini, like corn, sweet corn. And the children also enjoy. And even the meal are poorer, but, but the, the other things that are poorer, they still enjoy so much. And then the second group want to join, and then we I cannot afford. So they have to divide from the, the money for the meal of this group A into two parts two part but more water. And so they also have meal exactly, but poorer. And then the group three want to have it. And I said, I cannot, I cannot. <laughs> because it's not in each province, we give only one group A, the second province, the third province, the fourth province. And finally they said, oh, okay. And they, they divide and they agree to it. And then the parents brought sweet corn squash to add to the food of their children. And so by, by training, they so occupy, they take care of themselves. And so we have in each, at the beginning, we start by group A only, but then in Guangxi, we have 4,700 something. I don't remember the exact figure, but then in 13th, the next province is also 4,000 something. And the next province, uh, 5,000 something. Next province, 1,000 something. So all together is a lot. And of course, I let, I, I said that Vishto, the care of Vishto, we, I cannot afford to, to pay on. But then people come. And people from the city can come bring some squash, some food, something, and then we go on. And I wish that um, already yesterday a few people promised to give me something to support a few gra glass like, like that. So I would like to offer you a song about um, oh, how this have connection with that. Je souris à l'étoile qui au ciel encore lui Au soleil lent qui lentement nous sort de la nuit, à ce jour qui commence, à l'oiseau qui m'enchante, je souris au monde et le monde me sourit. I smile to the sun that still in, shine in the morning, to the day that stops. I smile to the star that still shine in the sky, 
to the sun that slowly guides us out of the night, to the day that begins, to the enchanting burden. I smile to the world, and the world smiles to me. I smile to the child that crosses my way. I remember also on those who are hungry, those who live in misery all over the planet, who have to face the war, who lost their mother. If sometime my smile is moistened by tears, when I see the great pain, that spread over the world, I shall still be smiling with tears in my eyes, smiling to life, smiling to death. And one day will come when it is bitterly cold, when even my footsteps will not leave any mark. The never-ending current of life's energy will carry me along, and I will not look back. The fear will no longer block my way. My heart finally is opens very wide, then I will become the smile of the earth, of the sun, of the rain, of the cloud, of the flower. And one day, perhaps, in a very small child, I will open my eyes to the wonders of life and the little more loving and the little more smiling I will continue this wonderful way et un jour peut-être dans un tout petit enfant je rouvrir les yeux au merveilleux de la vie et un peu plus aimant, un peu plus souriant, je continuerai ce beau chemin. Et j'ai des continuations autour et parmi vous, pas mal. Merci. I have the continuation around me, brother and sister, and among them, among you a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much, dear Sister Chang Kong. And it was in those years in the early 1960s after Tai had been studying here when he went back to uh, rejoin Sister Chang Kong and all the social workers in Vietnam. And that was when the program of going into these rural areas devastated by war and to build schools, to bring basic health education, and agricultural skills to these really remote communities. And it's so extraordinary that these little children in this photo, uh, with their beautiful smiles, that this social action was really born from Thai's insight and then, and, uh, then Suko and the network of social workers who could put them into action and have a spiritual dimension in their action. I would like to add something. During the war, such thing I just uh, report to you will not be able because uh, this side think that we belong to other side secretly try to assassinate them. I don't know, and they always have tishatan. The practice go also with music, with joy for children. So we have many songs like. Kẻ thù ta đâu có phải là người Our enemies are not human beings Giết người đi thì ta ở với ai If you kill all human beings With whom shall you live? 
and kẻ thù ta tên nó là gian dối kẻ thù ta tên nó là vô minh our enemies are ignorance a wrong perception and so they they make many mistakes without knowing that we, we all love you and, and after that one side of the war throw grenades on our social worker at that moment i'm one of three first and three first hundred volunteer and they throw two person have wounded and and we continue to say that no you are not our enemy you are our friend we like to have your friendship and then the second time one week later they throw grenades and they kill two person 16 person have been wounded and we have two two person die we have to make a funeral and when the funeral happen we make a speech saying that we still cannot hate you we hate your wrong perception your wrong view about us and we need you to be our friend to rebuild the country at that time the country is still in, in war and then we said that and then three weeks later they arrest five they brought to the river bank when they said that are you from the school of youth for social service of Tishnatan? we said that yes and they they mind the 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 eyes we don't know their face yet all of them but they put one hand on the head of one one young man he was about 18 you are so young i hesitate but i have the order to kill you and so they brought them to the they are already already near of the river bank and they shot and one i saw hurt he run he ran into the water so he was safe five five person have been arrested and assassinate but one one into the river four other totally killed and so thanks to the survival we know that before shooting the the worker social worker they said that we are sorry you are so young but if we cannot if we refuse the order we will be in trouble and so at the funeral of the last four, suddenly I, I, I suffer so much, I don't know what to do. At that moment, our teacher, Tish Yatan, already in the United States, calling for peace, for understanding in each country. And I think that I didn't know what to do. Suddenly, I remember the sentence of the survival social worker saying that, I'm sorry, but we have to kill you. If no, we will be in trouble. So we say that, thank you for building the killer. Thank you for saying that you will feel sorry. So we hear your heart already. Thank you for being so kind. Never mind. Next time, when you receive the order to kill us, you inform us in advance. And that's what they did. What they did. And so no more murder. When they, somebody, a little boy, seven year old, run, a man on the motorbike told me that I have to tell you that you must not stay here. Don't stay here, dangerous. And, I, and our friend asked, where? Oh, he ran away, I don't know. He gave me a dime so that I can have some sweet. <laughs> but, but, but he told me, and then our friend ran away it means we escape, we are absent at the place, and okay. And from 300 person, we lose about 20 because the family are so afraid. But then 600 people sign up for coming because during the war, you see people suffer so much, you don't know what to do. And the best way is to love, to give the, the contrary, they hate, they kill, we love, we accept, and we thank. And after doing that, the number of those who um, volunteer increase, increase, increase a lot. 
And at the end of the war, we have 10,000 people work without pay. At the beginning, they still have some tuition for pocket money. But when we are 600, 700, and the victim of war is so proud, we cannot afford to give. And all of them go volunteer and do a lot of work. And at the end of the war, we think that we can continue with the new regime, with the fear, I don't know, they cannot imagine that there are people who are untruist like that, and then they don't accept the project. And nowadays, we still do the work, but under a new name. This new name here, another new name here, and slowly now with the half century already, they start to recognize us, and we can, we can continue on this project without any problem like during the war. And I thank you for listening that. I have a lot of things to tell you, but today is enough. <laughs> thank you, Sister Chang Kong, Sister True Emptiness, for sharing your stories. I joined the monastery when I was uh, 13 years old, and I had the great privilege of uh, being our teacher's personal assistant and by being his attendant, I had a lot of time to spend with Sister Chang Kong. For me, it's like living with a bodhisattva. Bodhi is an awakened, sattva is a being. But bodhisattva also represents the heart of service. And today, sitting with Sister Chang Kong and hearing the story, I'm reminded of that heart of service. And heart of service is not just outside of us to do and to heal and to protect, but we have to start within us also. The foundation of mindfulness is to learn to come home to oneself, to recognize what is happening, what are my feelings, what, are, what am I cultivating in my mind? Is there hatred? Is there violence? Is there anger? Is there fear? And our breathing becomes our root, our foundation. In Plum Village, mindfulness of the breath is our daily practice. This is engaged Buddhism. Buddhism should be practice. We have to learn and study, but it has to be applied. As long as you are breathing, we have an opportunity to practice. So in this very moment, I would like to invite all of us to come back to our breathing. And in our tradition, we have the 16 exercises of mindful breathing that the Buddha himself has taught. This comes from the ori original teachings from the Buddha's time. And when our teacher discovered these, this sutra, he shared like he found treasure. And it is the 16 exercises of mindful breathing that has become the foundation of well-being, healing, and transformation for our teacher, Thai, for Sister Chang Kong, for all of the social workers in Vietnam that booked the miracle of mindfulness was a manual for all of his social worker to find balance, to find well-being, to, to still have joy, to know that music can still be possible even within chaos and war. In this moment, we are in peace. Maybe there's not much peace in here, but we can cultivate that by coming back, recognizing our breath, becoming aware of the conditions that are happening in the here and now. Let us listen to the sound of the bell and there will be a song play to help us come back to our breathing.
Breathing in a short breath, I know I am breathing in a short breath. Breathing out a short breath, I know I am breathing out a short breath. Breathing in, I'm aware of my whole body. Breathing out, I'm aware of my whole body. Breathing in, I cut my whole body. Breathing out, I calm my whole body. Breathing in, I know this is an in breath. Breathing out, I know this is an out breath. Aware of my whole body as I am breathing. I relax my body, allowing me to be present for myself, my loved ones. Breathing in, I feel joyful. Breathing out, I feel. Breathing in, I feel happy. Breathing out, I feel happy. Breathing in. It's me, your breath. Let's breathe. I am life itself. Feel the rhythm of life as we dance together with each inhale and exhale. Let's break free from procrastination and daydreams, focusing in the here and now. By connecting to the present moment, we'll rediscover our true self. And embrace the lively dance of life. Remember, our breath is the key to staying grounded and connected to see the beauty of life that is present. Inhale deeply, allowing calming breaths to fill your lungs, inviting relaxation and tranquility to flow. As you exhale, release any tension and tightness, making room for ease and inner peace. With each breath, 
surrender to the soothing rhythm, feeling your body and mind become lighter and more serene. Embrace this stillness within as this calming breath guides you towards a state of harmony and balance. Breathing in, I'm aware of my mind. Breathing out, I'm aware of my mind. Breathing myself. I am here for myself. Whatever it is, I embrace, acknowledge, and transform. Breathing in, all dharmas are impermanent. Breathing out, all dharmas are impermanent. Breathing in, I observe desire. Breathing out, desire disappearing. Breathing in, I observe no birth. Breathing out, I observe no death. Breathing in, I observe letting go. Breathing out. Letting go home. Breathing in, I know that I'm here. Breathing out, I know that life is impermanent. I don't want to take for granted the wonders that are present. In breath, gratitude is born. Out breath, I let go of my desire to touch deeply life in the here and now.
Dear friends, the next song that we would like to sing is uh, set to a, it's a poem set to music that, and this is a poem that Tai wrote for Sister Chen Kong and her social workers, uh, the community of social workers around our teacher in the 1960s. And this poem is called Little Star. And it speaks to that light in all of us that we want to keep alive, the light of compassion, the light of love, and the light of hope. And even in our own times, we can be aware that there's a lot of darkness, there's a lot of suffering, and it seems that it is only increasing and not decreasing. And this poem is Tai's powerful prayer, a prayer of hope to all the stars there in each of our hearts and in every social worker's helping hands. And I don't know if in the hall tonight we have social workers, teachers, and people who are um, investing your lives in helping build a healthy and compassionate society. And you are stars, you are stars in the sky. And have you found your, uh, your festival of stars. Um, I will read a couple of verses from this poem that speak of the festival of stars in the sky. And to build a community in our tradition, and especially those of you who are studying engaged Buddhism here, you know that uh, to be able to bring engaged Buddhism into the world, we cannot do it as individuals. We need a whole community, a festival of stars around us so that we can bring brightness to the night sky in which we find ourselves. And I don't know if Sukho would also like to share some words about the origin of this poem, which Tai wrote for Sukho on one of her birthdays. Uh, Sukho just celebrated her birthday last week, so um, very happy continuation for Sukho. So this would have been um, perhaps uh, in 1964 or 65 or even 66 in April that Tai wrote this poem. To okay, I will read some of the poem. <laughs> <laughs> Little Star by Thich Nhat Hanh, by our beloved teacher. Today the kingdom of heaven held a great festival for thousands of stars. The sky is clear. The clouds have all blown away. I went up to that kingdom and knelt down for our homeland and prayed that the anguish, the killing, the disasters of flood fire and cruelty in our poor land would end. Your voice has reached millions of stars that all transformed into wonderful teardrops trembling in the air. I am sending deep thanks to 10,000 little stars whose faith is diamond strong. You are like flowers blooming, shining brilliantly in the vast realm of consciousness. My little star, you are back home. With tears in my eyes, I call your name and feel the warmth in my heart. So as we listen to this song, we can ask ourselves, how is our star doing? How is the star in your heart? Is your hope a light? Is it bringing warmth? Have you found your allies, the other stars, who can give you strength and brightness in the dark? Today, the kingdom of heaven held a festival for
four thousand soft stars. I went up to the kingdom, knelt down and prayed that the anguish, the killing, the disaster. In our poor land, would Where have you been, little star? I've been looking for you everywhere. Out of my window, among the dark clouds. Where have you been? Little star, I feel so forlorn, like a small bird lost on a foggy island. It has been raining for nights, late nights on the sidewalk. I see the silhouette of lonely wet forms. I've tried to call your image. From deep in my consciousness, while the rain and the wind continue to rage, tonight a siren over my desk, my head in my two hands, the wind has carried all the clouds away. The sky is clear, the rain has stopped. Longing for your call I'm surprised to see you there you have returned little star I've been looking at the stars in the distance I've been looking in my heart for resistance I've been searching in the self for existence all alone by myself reminiscing underneath the Bodhi tree but it isn't only me you and I collective energy how it's supposed to be I hope to be the ocean tide with my spirit open wide standing on a mountaintop see the world with open eyes I was so surprised to know that I'm a part of this sunrise sunset rain clouds all of it the journey of a Awakening, taking it with one step, one breath. Save all beings till there's none left. Suffering is painful, but I'm still the same fool. Searching for the river while I'm swimming in the same pool. Maybe we can find it, keep the light shining. Walking on the path with ancestors behind me. If you can be the person who you are in your heart, would you play a bigger part and would you grow a little bit? Love is a paintbrush, life is the greatest art And I'm still the same kid, wishing on a little star Love is a paintbrush, life is the greatest art And I'm still the same kid, wishing Where on a little have star you been, little star? I've been looking for you everywhere Out of my window, among the dark clouds Where have you been? Little star, I feel so forlorn Like a small bird lost on a foggy island It has been raining for nights, late night on the sidewalk I see the silhouettes of lonely wet forms I try to call your image from deep in my consciousness While the rain and the wind continue to rage Dear little star, you have been through Such storms, rain and wind For how long and no what strange land Have you been weeping? You've come back, your little body Still shivers with cold, with tears in your eyes. You recalled. You've been praying for our homeland.
Your voice has reached us, the hearts transformed to teardrops, trembling in the air and sending deep pains to countless little stars with diamond strong faith. You are like flowers blooming everywhere. My little star, you are back home With tears in my eyes, I call your name And feel the warmth in my heart Compassion in action is a practice we can do every day. I've learned from uh, Sister Chang Kao that uh, there's many acts of kindness we can offer. I just uh, offer you the, my last wish or reminding you where are your little star? And they are asking you to forgive. If you have a little Forgiveness, you give those who cause a lot of suffering to you, impossible for you to forgive, but you can forgive as a gift for we all and the world need a lot of forgiveness. There are a Christian, his name is Christian Bentinson. During the war in Liberia, he has five of his members of the family have been assassinated, killed. And then after a talk with our teacher, teacher he decided to forgive these five. Before that, he, he said that I will kill them. He, he fly, that, that the killer fly to Ghana and he stayed in Liberia. He said, I will kill him. But after the talk of our teacher, or maybe an offering like today, and he decided to forgive. And he did forgive. He invited that man to come and stay the whole night with him. Both of them are a little bit afraid if they cannot forgive. But finally, they can, for they can forgive each other. And that friend joined him in the work of social service to help those who are victims of Ebola. Uh, virus, yeah. and so we are very hopeful that at least we obtain quite a number of your forgiveness to the little heart hurt, a little difficulty in your life, forgive them. And the last thing, when you are angry, when you feel that your heart is shaken, it may be a wrong perception. You are so sure that he was like that. She did like that, you have to retaliate. Don't retaliate yet. Go back to your in-breath and out-breath. And you promise that after seven days, I decide. So during the seven days, you try to see a number of good things, positive things of that person, second positive thing, three. After seven days, I'm sure that you can forgive easily. Let go easily. You don't need to force. And that's my only wish I would like to offer to each of you tonight. Those of you who can hear directly or via any, any YouTube or anything, please forgive. Because the world, this world needs us. There are many people, and because of COVID, they have to live together. 
And they said, mm, the violence of men are too strong during the COVID and they complained the COVID or the violence of men. I don't know, but I think that that violence is then in their heart. And we need to use that empty time to have to face each other with unpleasant feeling, try to transform unpleasant feeling to good feeling. And you see a miracle can happen to your life. I wish you a very happy continuation of this compassion life. Thank you, and to end, we would like to offer one last song, and it is in the spirit of love. I vow to live this day with love. Buddhism is to grow our love every day, to become kinder, to become more acceptance, and to also have more space and courage to face also the beast that is in humanity but with mindfulness and with compassion, we can cultivate a mind of love, then our continuation, our future has a chance. But if we continue to cultivate a mind of darkness and anger, we are not doing so well for our future generation. So the practice of mindfulness is to continue to cultivate our understanding of connection of non-discrimination and acceptance. So with Sukho Chang Kam's message and this song, then we will end tonight's session. The sun starts to fall when the fire and tears come along, and in the sun child is risking all its life. Is there hope that comes with the dawn? There's a I wish to do something more But I'm all alone and I cannot be strong Though the sun has risen It's hard to feel its warmth On this path, please guide me along it's time to stop, it's time to breathe, it's time to take care of myself. It's not our fault to take a walk in peace and harmony. How can I heal a wounded heart if I only see the dark? It's gonna change tomorrow because I vow to live this day with love. Hope 
love can reborn. It's time to stop, it's time to breathe, it's time to take care of myself. It's not a fault to take a walk in peace and harmony. How can I heal a wounded heart if I only see the dark? It's gonna change tomorrow Because I vow to live this day with love I vow to talk, I vow to think I vow to act on the out of love In the darkest place of time There's no hatred and no fear Our compassion is the light That guides us through the night it's gonna change tomorrow because i vow to live this day with love i vow to talk i vow to think i vow to act on the out of love in the darkest place of time there's no hatred and no fear our compassion is the light that guides us through the night it's gonna change tomorrow because I vow to live this day with love. It's gonna change tomorrow because I vow to live this day with love. Thank you. Thank you, Venerable Sister Chung, uh, Ch Chen Kang. Thank you all for being here. Thank you to the musicians. Thank you all for coming in attendance, being present in this beautiful moment that we're sharing. Um, and just before you leave, I just wanted to direct to you there. There's some light refreshments in the back. And Parallax Press and the Thich Nhat Hanh Foundation also have a table of offerings for you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, are there more announcements? No, thank you. Thank you everyone for joining us here and all of our friends online also for spending uh, over an hour with uh, Sister Chiang Kong, Plum Village and Blue Cliff uh, community. We wish you a wonderful evening, a mindful evening. Thank you.